All right, this is Prank Calls for You, episode 11. This is an attempt, which means if I fail, you won't be hearing this. I'll just have to do this episode over. And I have a comedian's number that I want to call right now. This guy, he uh, he gave me his number a while ago at an open mic. And I don't actually have any other ideas. I guess I'll be calling him. And I'll be calling people from Craigslist. I have to get that up. Fuck. This is Roger. I am presently unavailable to come to the phone. Oh, shit. Please leave a message. Yeah, I don't think this guy actually has a real phone number. But I tried to call that guy. He didn't pick up. So let's go to Craigslist now. Let's see. Let's call some people that are selling stuff. It, the easiest thing to do is call people who are selling uh cell phones but I should plan this out beforehand but I'm stupid this is a Galaxy S9 okay and let's see what happens here Yeah, it's so low for some reason. The ringer. Fuck, I might have to stop this and then... Hello? Yes, uh, you still have that phone? Um, what phone? The Galaxy S9. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah, because I'm looking to give some, uh, hand jobs for it. And, uh, got a pretty strong arm. I'm sorry? I got a pretty strong arm. Um, I'm not sure what you meant. You know, a little tug. Tug a tug tug. Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to give some tugs, you know? Tug? Yeah, like, um, I use my, my hand on you. Yeah, I mean it's it's cheaper than cash. You you have to agree with that, right? Um, uh, you mean that you uh, want to uh, make the <clears throat> make the offer? Yeah. Um, how much you offer? Uh, I offer three hundred dollars and a handy. And a handy. Yeah. But uh, did did you read the uh, description? Yes. Is the uh, the phone is duplicate phone? Yes. I know it's not real. Yeah. But I I like giving, I, I, I like giving hand jobs though. So. Okay. Yeah, I'll call you back. All right. Okay. No problem. Well, this is a pawn shop, but I'll call them anyways. I I like to call people. I don't like to. Yeah. Yep. All right. Hello? Yes, is this the pawn shop? Team video games. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking at that Note 8 Galaxy. You still have it? Yeah, we still have it. Is this the one with the 6.3 Quad HD? I don't know, man. I don't know how many notes eight. You can come to the shops, check it out. I mean, I just I just want to make sure it's the right phone. I hope it's I hope it's got the eight MPAFs and the pixel size one point two two UMs. Text me whatever you need, and I could check it for you. Make sure you have it. All right. Do you think it has the selective wide selfie focus on it? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't even know where to find that. You know. That's does it have? It does it have the uh the penis zoom on it? I don't know, man. I don't know. Because I'm trying to make my penis look wider for these girls. You know, nowadays you don't have a wide one. They don't. Hello. Shit. All right. So I think he got the joke. Hey, who's this? This is Roger. Oh, hi, Roger. Uh, my name is uh, you, uh, you Cock. I met you at a uh, Center City Open Mic about a year ago. Yes. 
How you doing today? I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. I'm at work. I'm doing real. I'm doing. I'm doing really good. How have you been doing? What have you been up to? Um, you know, I've been okay. I mean, I'm looking to start some comedy shows, and uh, I was wondering if you were uh, interested. Oh, I am very interested. I'd love to do that. Yeah. So, what kind of comedy are you into? Um, I mean, it's like I do stuff with Linda, and I'll do pretty much anything. You know, I'll do dirty, clean. I I do some rapping. I do all kinds of stuff in comedy. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking to do a comedy show. I get a big bathtub, and I have a comedian in there get scrubbed. And why they do a monologue? You think you 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 comfortable with nudity? Um, I mean, I, I personally, you know, I mean, I mean, it depends upon the show. Where's the show going to be? Oh, uh, the show's going to be in Levittown. Yeah, I have a venue in Levittown. It used to be um. It used to be like this bar restaurant, but I'm trying to do shows there. So um, I got a little spot there. Uh, is that a, is that a problem for you getting there? No, I can I can get there. You know what would I have to do though? Well, the first show is called the Bath Show. Pretty much, we put you in a bathtub, and we start. You know, like you're not naked, but there's bubbles around you, and uh, you know you come. You, 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 we push you outside. You know, you start doing your. You start doing like a like an act, a monologue. You know, and then uh, that's that. That's one idea we have. Are you interested in that? Oh, um, it sounds so far. It sounds it sounds interesting. Oh, well, yeah, I have a lot of interesting ideas, a lot of them. Another idea uh, I have is we have, like, some sort of, like, uh, lie detector-type comedy show where a comedian would ask you questions about your life, and if you lie, you know, you get you get electrocuted. But not nothing near deaf or anything, just a little zap, you know? That sounds interesting also, you know, these great humiliating comedy shows. You know, it sounds like a new, kind of like a new dimension on things. Yeah, and also we we're all interested in doing just regular stand up comedy. Uh, have you ever featured before? Yes, I have. I featured. Oh, great! Because you know the first show we might do might just be a regular comedy show, just to spread the word. You know, do like fifteen twenty minutes. Uh, thing is, we're getting this comedy club off the ground, so I probably can't pay anything but eight bags of peanuts. Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, it sounds, it, it sounds very interesting. What what you what you should do is like text me with the with the list of where the comedy club is and what the actual ideas are. Okay, well, I gave you some of them already. I'm I'm looking to launch this in uh, probably August, mid August. Uh, I'm getting together the comics now. We're still building the room, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely keep in uh, touch with you. So you're you're down for about almost anything, huh? I mean, I'm I'm I'm, de I'm definitely down. You know, I'd want to see you know where the room is. And I mean, before but I mean before I commit to something like that, right. you know. But it, but it it sounds like incredible ideas. Put put that with like all your numbers and information. Put everything with your full name and everything on on a text. Okay. Yeah. One last thing. Can you give me uh, some names of some other comics that you like? Because I'm trying to. I, I don't know too many comics. I'm trying to get together some other comics. You know any other funny comedians in the city? Um, I think you know. I think would really might really enjoy um being being stripped in a bathtub. Yeah. Kenny Hansen. Kenny Hansen. Yeah. He goes. He he. You see him Monday night at Laughs and Fairmount. All right. I think he, I think he would really enjoy you know something like that. Okay. And and then with the lie detector, there are a lot of guys who would, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you know you know any other comedians that are just good at stand up or? Uh... Yes, I I know a lot of comedians who are good at stand up. Well, who would you recommend if you had to pick like just a few names? Um, who would I recommend of, of comics in town? I would recommend Robert Wool. Mm hmm. I would recommend. I would recommend Teddy Hansen. Yes, Teddy Hansen. I would recommend, let's say, of comics, I'd recommend Chris Hayes. Chris Hayes. Okay. Well, thanks for giving me those names. All right. So yeah, I'll text you. I'll keep in touch. Okay. Text. Text me and put your put your full name on it and and mention where the club's going to be. All right. You got it. Good talking to you. Thanks. All right. Bye, buddy. See you.
<laughs> I was trying to get him to say my name. He's full of shit. He used to. This guy used to tell me that I was one of his favorite comics. But he uh, he didn't mention my name, so he doesn't think I'm funny. He's a piece of shit. That guy. I was hoping he's gonna say Josh Jack, but he didn't see all these comics who say I'm funny. They don't think I'm funny. Because if he thought I was funny, he would have said my name. So, fuck you, asshole. Alright. And I'm not that funny, so I don't blame him. Hello? Uh, yeah, hey, how you doing? Um, I'm calling about the gaming PC. Do you still have that available? Oh, I'm sorry. I have to ask my husband what you are calling about. He's, uh, the Craigslist ad says a, a gaming, uh, custom PC here. Oh, God, God. Gaming and oh, a PC. <laughs> yeah, um, he, he hardly can speak English, so let me translate. Which one, which one you are talking about? He's saying, like, uh, $2,800. Uh, yeah, it says it's uh, two, 2011 year. Uh, it says uh, $2,800. Right. Right, that's what he was asking. Yeah. Um, yeah, so you want to know if it's still available? Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, let me ask. Yeah, I'm Oh, he's saying uh, 2011. That's uh, the model. Yeah, is it still is it still for sale? Yeah, it is still for sale. He's saying like uh, somebody's gonna come and look tomorrow. Two uh, two people. Oh, so you're already selling it. All right, I, that's why I was calling for. You want to come and see as well? I don't know. I, I mean, I want to buy it. I mean, I, I I'll come today if you if you if you're willing to sell it. Okay, hold on. Let me just tell him. Um, okay, yeah, he's saying, okay, you can come today and see. Um, so just to make sure, $2,800, the price. Yes, I have uh, $2,000 and um, I use my hand on him. What that means? Um, I put my hand in his pants and I shake it, you know, till he feels good. Excuse me? You know, just a little happy ending uh, for the price. I uh, 2000 and uh, uh, I use my hand. What do you mean when you use your hand? Is it a joke? No, no. I put my, my mouth on the top of his pants and, you know, make him... Do what you do better. Do it better than you. You know what? You are joking. I don't have attitude to joke with you right now. No, okay? I'm not. I'm not joking. I two thousand. Yes. And what I. What do you mean? Just you mouth. Or what? What pants has to do with this? You crazy? No. You can watch and you can do too. I do to you. You know. You know what? You go and do that to your friends. I don't have Son any. I don't have any friends. Hello. Oh man. I knew she was. I wonder if she's gonna translate that. <laughs> All right. I will do those ideas. Let's call the uh, first one. Church hotline. Merci parce que relé radio télé Shekina. A radio télé Shekina, gloire bon Dieu envahit tout côté. Appel nous enregistrer. Pour créole, pesé deux. Holy shit, I'm getting two calls. Hello. Yeah, I'm just calling from you. Oh, yes, I was calling about that uh 
I uh, Apple iMac. Do you still have that available for sale? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool, great. Uh, Cherry Hill, New Jersey, it says here you're located. Yep. Oh, that's cool. I'm not too far away. I'm right near the tur uh, the turnpike. Um, yeah, uh, I'm definitely uh, interested in uh, stopping by. Where can we meet? Like the Cherry Hill Mall or? Uh, yeah, that, that should be. Uh, one second. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll be my bad one speaking, but uh. No, I can meet you like Collins or somewhere at a restaurant or something. Yeah, that. yeah, that 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 sounds. Twelve, so twelve hundred dollars, uh, cash. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I have uh, a thousand, and uh, what about a hand release? Is that a uh, on the table? What's a hand release? Mean? Uh, you know, I just uh put my hands in your pants and shake it a little bit. You know, just uh <laughs> get rid of the tension. You know, and uh. Uh, no, yeah, just cash on. All right, so no, that's off the table, Dad. Uh, what about my girlfriend? You can play around with her while I watch. Uh, no, nah, that's cool. That thousand for that as well. How much? I'll give you a thousand. You can play around with my girlfriend. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's fine. Where you want to meet at? Um, that you know that Wawa where you go. Uh, there's a Wawa on Cherry Hill. I'm sure you can meet there and. Go go to a park or something. Oh uh, yeah, no. Uh, I'll meet you at Cherry Hall. Oh, yeah, where you want to meet at the mall? Uh, we can meet at that big Macy's there. Oh yeah, that's fine. When you want to meet? Uh, probably within the next hour. Alright, you want to meet right now? Yeah, I'll, I'll text you when I'm on my way. Alright, shoot me a text. All right, all right. real number though. Alright, not not a Google voice. Alright, all right. This is my real number. Okay, so somebody else called while I was talking to him. Let's see. Uh, uh, somebody called me. Hello? Uh, yes, I'm returning a phone call here. Someone called me from this number, so I'm returning your phone call. Yes, I'm calling about what you're selling. Okay. Yes. Was it this in particular? Uh, I'm not sure. I had it open. I think I accidentally closed it when you called me. It was uh, it was a uh, I think it was a, a, a iMac or it was a, some sort of computer, right? Uh, Windows computer, yes. Yeah, is that still available? Yes, it is. And how much are you asking for that? I closed the ad by accident. All right, seven fifty. Seven fifty. Yeah, yep. I I have uh I have six fifty and I can give you a a hand job. Is that do you accept that? Um oro only. Oro. Hand doesn't work. Uh mouth? What about the mouth? Yeah, that's my name. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the mouth in six fifty. That sounds like a plan. I don't have you're not gonna read it to me, but I'll have guys who want it, so six guys. Okay. Sounds good. I got a glory hole lined up, so that's great. So you know the place? Mm-hmm. So um, we'll, we'll do it there. Okay. Six fifty jobs. Yeah. I think that sounds better. Yeah. That's a hell of a deal. So, for you, it is. Yes. Yes, it is. You got it. All right. I'll text you in a little while. We'll meet up, handsome. See ya. Sure. These guys are down for it. All right. So call... A real estate house. I'll call it real estate. Sit on the real estate group. How can I help you? Yes. Hi. I'm looking for a house in the market that's worth $5 million for my stash house. I want to make sure it's a big house. Okay. You're looking for properties to purchase, sir. Can I take your name? Uh yeah, my name is uh Yukok, uh Y U K O K. K U K Yuka. And um your phone number is? Um uh, it's right here. It's two six seven six seven seven one two seven. Okay. Ninety one sixty four. Okay, sir. Question how do you hear from us? 
juke I watch it on online radio if friend refer, refer I use you Go- I use Google Google okay that's fine Juka is it okay if one of our agents give you a call back to give you information on what's available in the market yeah all right thank you so much for calling in sir have a nice day all right you too so they're gonna call me back fortunately Let's see what else we got here. We can call. I'm still calling people from Craigslist that are selling computers. I got to do a different idea. I'm getting tired of the hand job idea. Uh, try another real estate. All right. Real estate. Yeah, they're just gonna ask. They just want my number so they can call me back. They're not gonna fucking talk to me. They're all about just selling. They don't care about. But I'll try one more. Pansia Realty. Hi. Hi, how can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for a house on the market uh, that's $5 million for my stash house. Got to make sure it's really big. $5 billion? Yeah, that's what's in my price range right now. And what area are you looking for? Uh, you know, preferably sub- suburban, if you have any... Mm-hmm. Are you looking for single house or a twin house? Uh, I'm looking for twin. Twin. Okay, may uh, right now uh, all agents uh, are are not in office, so may I get your contact info so that I can allow an agent to contact you? Yes, my name is Yuka. Uh, y U K O K. Y U K K. No, Y U K O K. Okay. And my last name is uh, S U K A. U K. It's U K A. Okay. Yeah. And uh, my number is 267 712 9164. Okay. 267 712 9164. Right? Excuse me. Yes. Okay, so I will pass your info to our company's agent, and I think they they should call you back, okay? Oh, that sounds great. I'm going to come. Fuck. All right, so the real estate thing, they're just going to get my number. That's all they're going to do, because the people, they're not the actual agents. They're like the secretaries for the agent. I don't know how to get actual agents. Um... I'm trying to call people selling books, but they're not going to post their number. What else can I get here? Auto parts. Bikes. I already did that. Boats. Let's try boats. Where's the number? Okay, Snipes Farm is having a hippie concert on right now. They also have mini golf carts. Call the pro shop and say you found some old <laughs> Fucking Bill. So it's going back. It's the reality, please. Yes, hi, this is Yukok. How can I help you? Hi, yeah, I just... Uh, you called me like a minute before. So I just want to make sure you're looking for five millions of... Five millions of... How, dollars a house or five billion dollars a house? No, not five billion, five million. I, I don't have that million. much Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a little bit scary. Okay, five million. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you. All right. Shit, I gotta go help my parents with something. I'll, I'll be back in a little while, guys. I don't know when. I hate to do it. I look for my parents. I'm a... I'm a... Oh, shit. Holy... You, oh, shit. This guy just text messaged me. Hello, your family win every day. Suck. Dick, big black daddy, for me, she call this number. What? 
Oh shit, we gotta continue this, folks. I'll be back in a little while, I'm sorry guys. I'll see ya. All right, hey guys, I'm back now. Uh, sorry about that. I live with my parents. Like I said, I'm a loser. I'm going to do the idea Bill Miller just said about calling this thing to see if there's, say there's an old guy uh, passed out on a tie-dye shirt on a windmill. That sounds like a good idea. So let's, let's call right now. Also, I got some text messages and a voicemail I want to play. So let's get to this. Let's finish this episode. Double Eagle Golf. I have to call the pro shop. Let's see. Double Eagle Golf, it's Snipes. I can help you. Yeah, hi. I found um, an old guy outside on the windmill in a tie-dye shirt passed out. Um, okay. I will, uh, seek that out right now. Thank you. Yeah, he's like a hippie guy, you know? He just looks like he had a little bit too much weed and, uh, cupcakes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Alright, so he's gonna go check. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's gonna go check that. I don't have the, uh, let's call this, uh, first let me play the voicemail somebody left. And then we're... And also, I think it's from their real estate agency. Let me see. Here's the voicemail. It's from that agency. Here it is. Hi, good afternoon. My name's Alexandra. I'm calling from Panfield Realty. Um, my colleague said that you, um, I don't know whether your name is spelling correct, but your name is Suka, uh, regarding that you want to buy a house. If I'm not misunderstanding, um, it, uh, located at the suburban area, so I would like to know more uh, more details. Uh, please give me a call when you have a chance. My number is nine one seven. All right, so I'm gonna call her back now. All right, sorry about that, folks. I'm a fucking loser. Lives with my parents, and they keep bothering me. They're bored. Um. Yeah, let's see. Uh. She calls. Shit, that's too loud. Hello? Yeah, hi, this is Yukok. I'm calling back and returning a call. Oh, hi, Yukok. How are you? Hey, I'm good. My I name's Alexandra. I heard you wanted to, you had some, you wanted to give me some details. 
Oh yeah, uh, I just wanted some details from you because uh, the the fund desk uh, told me that you want to purchase a residential. Am I right? Yes. In a suburban area. Yes. And the price range is two million to five million. Uh, five. Yeah, two million to five million. Okay, so um, uh, what area you're looking for? Do you have like a specific area? Yeah, somewhere you know, it could be suburban, you know, uh, Hat Barrel, Levittown, maybe a private area where it's you got your own space, something like that. Okay, okay. Um, so you currently live in Pennsylvania? Yeah, right now I live I live in my parents' basement. That's why I saved them oh. so much money. Oh, okay, okay. So, um, can I have your email? I could find some houses and then I could email you some. Yeah, it's, it it's Y-U-K-O-K. Y-U-K-U-O-K. No, no, it's Y-U-K-O-K. Okay. K-O-K. S-U-K-A. Okay. At gmail.com. At gmail, okay. Let me yeah. repeat, okay. Uh, y U K O K S U K A at gmail dot com. Yeah. Am I right. Okay. Okay. So your name? I'm sorry. It's uh Yukok. Y U K O K. Yukok. Okay. Yukok. Oh, okay. Okay, Mister Yukok. Okay. So um, I would look for some uh uh suburban areas um residential houses and then I would email you some see if you interested on the area and the uh, specific house okay all right thanks yeah if you have so, any uh, if you have any questions you can call me email me uh you know once again my name is uh you cocksucker oh okay uh okay mm-hmm you cocksucker okay sure Okay. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay. Right. I'll so talk to you. I would, yeah, I Bye. Would you. Shut the fuck up. All right, so this person keeps calling me and says, your family can suck a dick, Black Daddy. <laughs> I think this is uh, the person that I called. This is a text number. Here's a number here for a boat. They gave me two numbers here. Hello? Yeah, hi. I'm calling about that 15 foot fiberglass boat. You still got that for sale? Yeah. I'm sorry. sorry. Just one moment. Uh, one moment. I uh, don't know speak in. Just one moment. This my son. Oh, okay. My God. Hmm? Yes. I'm calling from the Craigslist. Uh, do you still got that motor available for the boat? For, for the fiberglass boat? Yeah. Hello? Yeah, hold on. Yeah, the motor is still available. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, because I have a, I have a fiberglass boat. I just need a motor, you know, so. Hello? Yeah, how much, how much would you take for it? Uh, let me see. It says here you're looking for eight fifty. Yeah. Um, I can, you know, I can, I can match that. I can pretty much come up with uh, eight hundred, and I can uh, maybe uh, give you and your dad a hand job at the same time. What? Huh? Yeah. Sure. Oh fuck. I think he was shocked on that one. Well, here's a number here. Uh, 
Someone is selling a one-of-a-kind finished basket. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. Someone's selling some crappy Easter bucket. Hello? Uh, yes, hi. Uh, my name is, uh, Yukok. I'm calling from Craigslist. Do you still have that, uh, vintage basket metal handle for sale? The, which one? It's the one-of-a-kind vintage basket. Yeah, everything that's on there is available. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, yeah. Okay, that's great. Yeah, far north east Philly. So what do you like, Ben Salem or Horseshoe? Uh-huh. Okay. Ben Town. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Well, it's not quite that far. I mean, I'm right on the outskirts. I'm near Franklin Mills Mall. Ah, oh, friend, the Franklin Mills. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, not too far away. I was interested in uh, you know, uh, possibly purchasing it. I'm not sure if you're free today or not. Now, let me just get this correct. Cause are you talking about the purple one, the one that's like a lavender? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just put that on there. Um. Um, yeah, it's the 40, 45 dollars. Uh, yeah, um, I mean, I, I need this bucket to put my drugs in there. You know, my grandma would never know that I'm putting it in there. Just put some rocks in there, you know, and just. That's an, it's an expensive thing to get for, for putting stuff in. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's a perfect disguise. You know, that's kind of why I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm trying to get it. And I need something like this, you know, I was looking at it and it's like. She would never think it's in there because it looks like something, you know, and on it. Well, it's you're, she's going to be able to see it. It's not doesn't have a top to it. I know it's what I'm saying. I'm going to put some rocks in there and just put it underneath the rocks, you know. Oh, okay, all right. Uh, it's a good it's a good weed uh, storage. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll hit in here. But anyways, yeah, forty five dollars. Uh, I could totally match yeah. that. I can give th I can give uh, uh thirty and uh, a hand release. I knew it was a crank call. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, you can tell. I mean, yeah, you know, I don't know why you're calling about a basket, Ben. Yeah, I know. Why okay. would it, why would a guy need a basket? But anyways, you're a good sport. All right, take care. You too. I think someone just called me while I was. All right, well, this is it. Though. I'm sorry, guys. I have to end the show. This has been Prank Calls for You, episode 11. I'm not sure when the next episode is. Uh, check Tuesday night, possibly. Or Monday, no. Not, not Monday, Tuesday night. Either Tuesday or Thursday next week, check. I'm not sure when. Maybe I'll put a video up, let you know. But thanks for watching. And thanks to Pop-Tart Clan. And thanks to Bill Miller for the uh, help. Alright, guys. I'll see ya.